Oklahoma DMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. You should cover the clutch and brake whenever you want to. A. Reduce your reaction time. B. Alert others to your actions. C. Change lanes. D. Slow down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. You should cover the clutch and brake whenever you want to reduce your reaction time. Question 2. In locations where there is oil and grease buildup, the best lane position is? A. The center portion. B. In the blind spot. C. The left or right part of the lane. D. Not important. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. In locations where there is oil and grease buildup, the best lane position is the left or the right where other tires have traveled. Question 3. For the most stable riding, your knees and feet should be positioned. A. Away from the gas tank and on the foot banks. B. Against the gas tank and firmly on the foot banks. C. Away from the gas tank and pointing down. D. Against the gas tank and pointing down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. For the most stable riding, your knees should be positioned against the gas tank, and your feet should be firmly on the foot banks. Question 4. To help balance yourself in turns, you should A. Take your feet off the footrests for balance. B. Turn your torso in the direction of the turn. C. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle. D. Keep your knees against the gas tank. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To help balance yourself in turns, you should keep your knees against the gas tank. Question 5. Which lane position should you ride in when passing parked cars? A. The right or center. B. The right. C. The left. D. The center. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. When passing parked cars, stay toward the left of your lane. You can avoid problems caused by doors opening, drivers getting out of cars, or people stepping from between cars. Question 6. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by A. Applying both brakes without locking the wheels. B. Applying only the front brake. C. Pulling in the clutch. D. Applying both brakes until the wheels lock. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Maximum straight line braking is achieved by applying both brakes without locking the wheels. Question 7. If your motorcycle is equipped with a windshield. A. A helmet is not required. B. You must still wear goggles or face protection. C. You may wear glasses instead of a face shield. D. You must not wear goggles or face protection. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. A windshield is not a substitute for a face shield or goggles. Most windshields will not protect your eyes from the wind. Neither will eyeglasses or sunglasses. Glasses won't keep your eyes from watering, and they might blow off when you turn your head while riding. Question 8. Riding close to the edge of the road is dangerous for motorcycles because A. It is prohibited to ride there. B. The pavement is poor quality. 
see dirt collects there and provides little traction. Do you may hit pedestrians? 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Riding close to the edge of the road is dangerous for motorcycles because dirt collects there and provides little traction. Question 9. The rear brake on a motorcycle is operated by A. The left hand lever B. A foot pedal C. A button on the hand grip D. The right hand lever 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. The rear brake on a motorcycle is operated by the foot pedal. The front brake is operated by the hand lever. Question 10. Which of the following is the best way to secure cargo? A. Elastic cords. B. Metal chains. C. Cable ties. D. Nylon rope. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. The best way to secure cargo is to use elastic cords. Rope can stretch, and knots can loosen. Question 11. When you ride a motorcycle on slippery pavement, you should fill in the blank. To avoid a skid, A. Accelerate. B. Lean your motorcycle in any direction. C. Reduce your speed. D. Shift to a higher gear. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. When you ride on slippery pavement, you should maintain a nominal speed to avoid a skid. Question 12. When preparing to enter the roadway from the roadside, how should you position your motorcycle? A. With the rear tire off the road. B. Parallel to the roadside. C. Perpendicular to the roadside. D. At an angle. 5. 4. 3. 2 1 Answer D. When preparing to enter the roadway from the roadside, you should position yourself at an angle so you can see clearly in both directions. Question 13. Motorcycle passengers should A. Lean the opposite direction of the motorcycle. B. Put their feet down when stopped. C. Get on before you start the engine. D. Sit as far forward as possible. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Motorcycle passengers should sit as far forward as possible to help balance the motorcycle. Question 14. When you had check before changing lanes, you're checking. A. The size of the vehicles that are close to you. B. Areas of vision blocked by your helmet. C. The traction of the road surface. D. The lane beside you in the far lane. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When you had check before changing lanes. You're checking the lane beside you and the far lane to see if other vehicles are planning to move into the lane. Question 15. What is one cause of skidding while turning? A. Using the wrong gear. B. Using the wrong brake. C. Applying too much brake. D. Pulling in the clutch too quickly. Five. 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If you apply too much brake in a turn, the motorcycle may skid. 
Question 16. The center of the lean position is best for A. Preparing to pass the car ahead of you B. Being seen by the driver ahead of you C. Preparing to pull off the side of the road D. Pulling up to blind intersections 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. The center of the lean position is best for being seen by the driver ahead of you. Drivers look most often into their rear view mirrors. Question 17. To stop as quickly as possible, you should A. Use either brake while swerving. B. Use the front brake only. C. Use the rear brake only. D. Use both brakes at the same time. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To stop as quickly as possible, you should use both brakes at the same time. Question 18. When preparing to pass another vehicle, you should begin your pass from, fill in the blank, lane position. A. The center. B. The middle. C. The left. D. Any. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. When preparing to pass another vehicle, you should begin your pass from the left lane position, which is closest to the center line. Question 19. Accelerating in a curve. A is for experienced riders only. B should not be done. C helps stabilize the motorcycle. D should be done only in small curves. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Accelerating in a curve helps to stabilize the motorcycle. Very slow turns are more dangerous. Question 20. Signal lights should be used. A. As long as other vehicles are around. B. In cities but not in rural areas. C. Every time you plan to turn or change lanes. D. Only if you may not be seen by other vehicles. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Signal lights should be used every time you plan to turn or change lanes. Question 21. The best way to swerve is to A. Press the handle grip on the side opposite to the direction in which you want to turn. B. Pull in the clutch and apply the rear brake. C. Brake while you are swerving. D. Avoid braking and press the handle grip on the side of the direction in which you want to turn. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. The best way to swerve is to press the handle grip on the side of the direction in which you want to turn. Never break and swerve at the same time. Question 22. Slippery surfaces can be even more dangerous if you are A. Using both brakes. B. Riding in the left of the lean position. C. Riding in the right of the lean position. D. Only using one brake. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. To ride safely on slippery surfaces, you will see both brakes. The front brake is still more effective than the rear brake. Even on a slippery surface. Apply it gradually and avoid locking up the front wheel. Question 23. When approaching a turn, when should you reduce your speed? A. Before the turn. B. During the turn. C. After the turn. D. At any of these times. 5 
four, three, two, one. Answer A. It is safest to reduce your speed before you enter a turn. Question 24. On a slippery surface, what is the most effective braking method? A. Alternately apply the front and rear brakes. B. Use the rear brake only. C. Use the front brake only. D. Use both the front and rear brakes at the same time. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. On a slippery surface, the most effective braking method is applying both the front and rear brakes. Question 25. Fill in the blank. Can cause your motorcycle to wobble. A. Carrying a passenger. B. Improper braking technique. C. Improper loading of cargo. D. Riding a motorcycle that is too big. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. Improper loading of cargo can cause your motorcycle to wobble. Make sure you load cargo evenly to keep the motorcycle balanced. Question 26. For most effective steering while riding a motorcycle, your hands should be positioned. A. With elbows locked. B. At or below elbow height. C. Below your elbows. D. Above your elbows. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. For most effective steering while riding, your hands should be positioned at or below elbow height. Question 27. On a paved road, sand and gravel are most likely to collect. A. Along the sides of the road. B. Near the center of the road. C. In the left wheel track. D. In all of the above areas. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Be cautious of the edge of the road. Dirt and gravel collect along the sides of the road, especially on curves and ramps leading to and from highways. Question 28. When carrying a passenger, instruct them to A. Grip the backrest. B. Wear a seatbelt. C. Hold firmly to your waist, hips, or belt. D. Put their feet on the ground when stopped. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. When carrying a passenger, instruct them to hold firmly to your waist, hips, or belt. Keep both feet on the pegs, even when stopped. Keep legs away from the muffler S, belts, chains, or moving parts. Sit as far forward as possible without crowding you. Stay directly behind you leaning as you lean. And avoid unnecessary talk or motion. Question 29. Only drinking one drink per hour. A does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. B ensures you will not be over the legal limit. C is the legal limit for meals. D prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Only drinking one drink per hour does not guarantee that you are sober enough to drive. Question 30. What type of group formation should be used when riding through curves? A. Single file. B. V shaped formation. C. In pairs. D. Staggered formation. 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. Answer A. When riding through curves, it is best to ride single file. Question 31. When should you check your motorcycle tires? A. Once a week. B. Every time before you ride. C. At the beginning of the season. D. Monthly. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. Check your motorcycle tires every time before you ride. A tire problem is more dangerous to a motorcycle rider than to a car driver. Question 32. You can initiate a swerve by A. Pressing the hand grip of the direction you want to swerve B. Applying the rear brake C. Pressing the hand grip of the opposite direction you want to swerve D. Downshifting gears 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. You can initiate a swerve by pressing the hand grip of the direction you want to swerve. Question 33. A front wheel skid can result from A. The front wheel locking B. The rear wheel locking C. Turning too quickly D. Only using the rear brake 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. A front wheel skid can result from the front wheel locking. Question 34. The best way to cross unavoidable obstacles on the road is to A. Cross them at a 45 degree angle B. Walk your motorcycle across them C. Cross them at a 90 degree angle D. Put your feet down for support 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The best way to cross unavoidable obstacles on the road is to cross them at a 90 degree angle. If that is not possible, cross them at an angle of at least 45 degrees. Question 35. When riding in a group, motorcyclists should ride. A. In single file. B. In a staggered formation. C. In an alternate formation. D. In pairs. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. When riding in a group, motorcycles should ride in a staggered formation. It keeps the group together while still maintaining a space cushion. Question 36. When being passed by another vehicle, you must be alert for A. Things being thrown from the vehicle B. Blasts of wind C. Extended side mirrors D. All of these things 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When being passed by another vehicle, you must be alert for things thrown from the vehicle, extended side mirrors, and blasts of wind from large vehicles. Question 37. The rear brake provides, fill in the blank, of the motorcycle stopping power. A. All. B. One quarter. C. Three quarters. D. One half. Five. 4 3 2 1 Answer B. The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle stopping power. Always use both brakes when stopping. Question 38. When crossing railroad tracks, you should cross at a 90 degree angle. A. Unless that path will take you into an oncoming traffic lane. B. Only when signs tell you to. C. In residential and rural areas. D. At all times. 
five, four, three, two, one. Answer A. When crossing railroad tracks, you should cross at a 90 degree angle unless that path will take you into an oncoming traffic lane. Always cross at an angle of at least 45 degrees. Question 39. How can you stabilize the motorcycle in slow, tight turns? A. Lean forward as much as possible. B. Remain straight while leaning the motorcycle. C. Accelerate or maintain speed. D. Lean with the motorcycle. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. You stabilize the motorcycle in slow, tight turns by keeping your body straight while leaning the motorcycle into the turn. Question 40. In any collision, you have a far better chance of avoiding serious injury when you wear A face or eye protection B. Protective clothing C. A motorcycle safety helmet that is U.S. DOT compliant D. All of the above 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. In any collision, you have a far better chance of avoiding serious injury when you wear 1. A motorcycle safety helmet that is U.S. DOT compliant 2. Face or eye protection 3. Protective clothing, for example, a leather or long sleeve jacket, long heavy pants over angle boots, and full fingered leather gloves. Question 41. When should you use both front and rear brakes to stop? A. In emergencies only. B. On hills and curves. C. At all times, unless you have a flat tire. D. Never at the same time. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. You should use both front and rear brakes to stop at all times. Both brakes are the most effective way to stop. If you know which tire is flat, gradually apply the other brake. Question 42. Why are curves a common place for motorcycle crashes? A. Leaning in curves causes motorcycles to tip over. B. Motorcycles can stay in one lane position while moving through a turn. C. It is difficult to steer a motorcycle. D. Motorcycles tend to run wide in a curve if not careful. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Curves are a common place for motorcycle crashes because motorcycles tend to run wide in a curve and could end up in another lane if the driver is not careful. Question 43. When riding behind a car, which lane position will keep you the most visible to the driver? A. The left. B. The right. C. The center. D. Any lane position. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Riding in the center of the lane position makes you most visible. Drivers look in their rear view mirrors more often, and you will be seen. Question 44. If you need to brake and swerve to avoid hitting an obstacle, you A. Must brake before or after swerving. B. Must brake while swerving. C. Should brake before swerving. D. Should brake after swerving. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If you need to brake and swerve, 
you must break before or after swerving. Never break and swerve at the same time. Question 45. When approaching an intersection where a vehicle may cross your path. A. Always yield to vehicles approaching the intersection. B. Beep your horn to warn other drivers. C. Come to a complete stop even if you have the right of way. D. Cover the clutch and brake to reduce your reaction time. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When approaching an intersection where a vehicle may cross your path, cover the clutch and brake to reduce your reaction time. Question 46. You must use the high beam light of your motorcycle when you are, fill in the blank, a vehicle at night. A. Meeting. B. Not following or meeting. C. Following. D. All of these answers are correct. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. You must use all the light of your motorcycle when you are not following or meeting a vehicle at night. Use dull lighting when meeting a vehicle. Question 47. Why is maintaining a space cushion important? A. It gives you time to react. B. It gives you time to correct your mistakes. C. It gives you space to maneuver. D. It does all of these. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Maintaining a space cushion is important because it gives you time to react, space to maneuver, and time to correct your own mistakes. Question 48. Before every lane change, you should a. Check your blind spots. B. Look over your shoulder. C. Check your mirrors. D. Do all of the above. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Before every lane change, you should check your blind spots, check your mirrors, and look over your shoulder. Question 49. Passengers should keep their feet on the footrests. A. Unless being stopped at an intersection. B. Unless riding over a slippery surface. C. At all times. D. While the motorcycle is moving. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. Passengers should keep their feet on the footrests at all times. Unlike the driver, they do not need to put their feet down at intersections. Question 50. When parked beside a curb, your motorcycle must A. Be parallel to the curb B. Be lying on the curb C. Have the front wheel on the curb D. Be positioned at an angle with the back wheel to the curb 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. When parked parallel to the curb, your motorcycle should be parked at an angle with a back wheel to the curb. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.